next plant is number eight on your list. This is Cercidophyllum japonicum, the Katsura tree. Cercidophyllum, uh, the name translates actually to mean uh, Cercis like uh, leaf, right? So um, uh, Cercis uh, canadensis is the uh, eastern red bud, and basically the, the, the genus for Cercidophyllum literally means it's got a Cercis like leaf, and that's this chordate shaped leaf or heart shaped uh, leaf. Um, but uh, Cercidophyllum, the leaf is, uh, like I said, somewhat chordate, and it has a scallop or crenate uh, margin. The uh, leaf arrangement in uh, Cercidophyllum is quite unique in that it can be uh, opposite, sub-opposite, which means they're not quite alternate, they're not quite opposite, they're just sort of uh, offset slightly, or they can be alternate. So quite a diversity in the leaf arrangement of Cercidophyllum. It is uh, uh, another unique fact, uh, um, uh, attribute to Cercidophyllum is in the fall, as the leaves start to uh, um, uh, uh, dehiss and they start to uh, dry up and, and uh, drop from the tree, there's actually a smell of uh, cotton candy that permeates the air. I think this, uh, the, the ability to smell it is somewhat like uh, the ability to tongue roll. Some people have it, some people don't. Unfortunately, I don't, but my students do uh, uh, tell me that it's uh, quite lovely. Cercidophyllum is monoecious. The flowers, uh, the male flowers are apetalous, uh, and they are uh, uh, somewhat ornamental when they have the stamens out. The female flowers are inconspicuous, and, um, uh, and I believe I just said that they're monoecious. They're, in fact, dioecious. That means there's male and female uh, clones. So it will either have male flowers or female flowers. And you can see the bark here is uh, somewhat uh, um, rough and exfoliating, not particularly uh, interesting, but uh, I, I kind of like it for its sort of rough and rugged uh, 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 shape. So that is Cercidophyllum japonicum.